Hi, this is Ephraim Smith. How you doing, Bayside family? I'm on the Midtown campus, but it is so great to be with you and all that are taking in these devotionals. I have been in school, I think, all my life. I'm still in school right now, working on a doctorate degree, and what I have learned about going to school is you cannot avoid tests. I mean tests, quizzes, I mean the multiple choice ones, the essay based ones, you know, these tests, these quizzes that are put there to figure out if you have really mastered the material, if you've gotten anything out of what has been presented to you in class. As long as you are in school, there is nothing you can do to avoid tests. But I've also realized this, sisters and brothers, there are life tests. And you know, they don't seem to go away either. Whether you're single, married, a teenager, a grandparent, in a career, in college, tests are all over. James says this to us about tests of life. James chapter 1, beginning with verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. You know, when I was in school, I learned this, sisters and brothers. When you're taking a test, you cannot look to somebody else in the classroom taking the test and see what their answers are. You're responsible all by yourself to get through the test. But here's the thing about the tests of life. You don't take the tests of life alone. God is with us. God desires to give wisdom, to give knowledge, to dispatch grace, to give us whatever we need to face the tests of life. You have an extraordinary tutor, mentor, and classmate like none other, and you can actually look to him while you're taking the test. So I want you to know today, no matter what test you are going through, you can get through it, you can get better, you can get stronger, and you're not alone. God bless you.